So, everybody, if y'all could tell, we in a new location because I redecorated my room. And I don't want this intro to be too long because I know I get aggravated. Let me, hold on, let me cut him off. Short story, I redid my room. I got a smaller bed, redid the whole room because I am certified at doing lashes. So I had to switch around my room so I could get a table or a massage table in my room. So now I'm just starting with lashes and your girl is going to be making that dough, period. All right. So um, today's video is going to be me showing y'all how to do the Sip Ashore Inspired Locks. If y'all don't know who Sip Ashore is, her Instagram is spelled C-Y-P-A and S-H-O-R-E, which is Sip Ashore, but many people may think it's Sip Ashore because I did. But she has it at the top where it, it sounds out. It pronounces how you say her name. So Sip Ashore. So I'd say it's inspired by her because if y'all can't tell, she do, she do have locks, but she do kind of like extend them extend them with weave so this all that's in my hair is weave all right all this yep you can tell it's weave because my hair is a way different color but i actually like how it looks because like i don't know i actually like how it looks so i've had this in my hair for probably like two weeks two to three weeks i don't know probably just two because i've got them put them on put them i put them in on like the 14th and today's the third. I don't know how many days away that is. I don't know. But, yeah. Um, I usually just wear a side part or in a bun. Each day that goes by, they look more and more natural. I love it. And that's how I feel like she gets away with people thinking it's her real hair. Because they look so natural. And since they don't start at your root, since they start at the end of your, your lock, it's like it looks more natural um so this is how they look and yeah I'll be showing y'all how to do these so yeah so I'm starting off with the front I do not like wearing it on a, a regular part I like to wear it on the side part because it just don't fit me um, I feel like before you go in with this style, you do need to moisturize your hair. And you, you need to moisturize it, deep condition it, and do whatever. Because as you can tell, I did bleach and dye my hair probably a month ago. And I have not deep conditioned or moisturized it yet. And I'm waiting until I take it out so it won't be like too much for me to try to moisturize my real hair and not get moisturizer in my lock, if you get what I'm saying. So, yeah. Um, I'm starting off with this one because as you can see, it's not coming to loose. What am I talking about? It's not coming to loose at all. But this is one I can start off with. So I'll be back when I have this. So believe it or not, I really just struggled with taking this off. And I'm holding this down because my lock just wants to flap. But here's how my lock is looking. And it looks kind of thin at the end, but trust me, it's not. It's because it's been stretched out. So, you're going to need Marley hair. Um, most likely Cuban twist because Cuban twist is very lifelike. It looks very realistic. I know y'all probably can't take me serious because of my hair. So, I'm just going to tuck that over there. <laughs> so, Cuban twist is very lifelike. So, I recommend Cuban twist. And I forgot what color I got. But you should be able to find it in your store. And you're, need, you're going to need two pieces and rubber bands. Alright, that was a lot to say. So I got this from a video. I forgot what video it was. But I remember watching the video. And this is how she did hers. So what you're going to do is you're going to take one twist. And you're going to bend it at the top. Just a little. I said one twist. One piece of Marley hair. And if you know how to braid or plait. Whatever you want to call it. Just plait it in. So I just plait it in. Cause I do hair, of course, I know how to do this if y'all didn't know. And then, since I want to make it last long, I'm going to put a rubber band at the end of where I plaited it. So that's where it's plaited. And now I'm going to take a rubber band. And I'm going to put it right here. Now what I did was at the end, I actually um, cut my ends. Because I wanted a certain length to make it look more realistic and whatnot. So I did cut my ends to be kind of like right here but it actually ended up all yeah stretch all the way down there so it's really up to you wherever you want to cut it 
And yeah, I just put the rubber band on tight as possible. All right. Now, one thing y'all need to know before y'all do this is that your locks are not going to be the same size as your real lock. As you can see, two different sizes. And I don't mind because you can't really tell unless you pay close attention. Now, if you know how to wrap locks, that's all you're doing. You're starting at the top where the braid starts. Wrap the braid twice. And then I just hold this very tightly. And I just go in and wrap until I get to the bottom. Now don't wrap to the point that it's real loose, just wrap, if you get what I'm saying. And as always, I always end up needing more by the time I get to the bottom. So what I would do is I would wrap till I get to the bottom. Let's pray this one is loose. Cause I hate having to rewrap it. I really won't go back in and rewrap it. I just leave it. So when I get to the bottom and I need more hair, I just grab hair from that bottom piece. Cause you know, most people would braid and then twist the rest of the hair all the way down. I just leave it loose so I'll be able to grab more hair from it. So I go all the way down. And when I get to the end like this, I keep going, taking hair from the lock and twisting it. Well, not the log, but the extra hair at the bottom. Taking it, and then until I get to this part, and then I loop this up, and this is how I knotted at the end. I loop this up, and or I loop the shorter end up. So I loop this up, and I take my longer piece, and I wrap up, and go back up. And this is what makes your lock rounded off. Now, what you can do is you can grab the rest of the loose piece and start wrapping up. Or do whatever, do whatever, cut it, burn it, glue it. But this is all I do instead of having to burn it. And that's all I do. Um, maybe messy. I like mine to be messy. This is perfect in size and whatever. And that's all I do. I just want to make that before I take this hair down. Because I don't know when I'm taking this hair down. I just want to get this video out before I take this hair down. And yeah. I need to just flip it to this side. And I'll go about my day because, like, yeah, I just love this style. Oh, it's so cute. It's so me. They look so real. And I've been wearing these. You see what I just did? I just did that. All I do is I pull that back up and I don't care. Like, I'll go about my day. I probably have a lot like this. I don't care. That's the point of having a messy style. Not be having to care about how it look, and yeah, I see y'all tomorrow because I will be recording tomorrow. So, bye.